Hello, Arkansas students and families. This is Megan Abels, your 2016 Arkansas Teacher of the Year. And of course, you know I'm excited to read a story with you all today. Today, we're gonna keep reading about my good friend, Beauty Mark. And this story is titled, The Cloud Cyclops. And of course, it's written by Victor Bitton and illustrated by Alyssa Crino. It was a lovely afternoon. Lionel and his sister, Beauty Mark, were sitting in their grandma's garden. Safta's garden was always a surprise. Her garden wasn't like other gardens. Sitting right next to the tulips was a bush that had multiple tiny feet, which could get out of the soil and zoom as fast as the wind. And instead of a willow tree, Safta had a tree with leaves shaped like ears. Some as small as mouse ears, others as large as elephant ears, and even some that looked like grandpa's ears. It can hear a whisper from a mile away, Safta told them. Safta loved to garden and she loved interesting plants. That afternoon, she took Beauty Mark and Lionel to see her favorite plants, the flowers in the center square of the village. People from near and far would travel to see these flowers. They grew in small groups, like families. Their beauty was magical. Their petals were indistinct and arranged in cloudy layers with all shades of blue and a shape that looked like a big smile. They smelled like happiness. Anyone who looked at and smelled the flowers was immediately happy. They spread joy, smiling faces and laughter. Kindness filled the streets. But not today. Why do people look so sad? Wondered Beauty Mark. Oh no, gasped Lionel. As he looked down at the flowers, they looked miserable. The color was fading, some lost their petals, none were smiling. They barely had any scent, like all their happiness had evaporated away. Safta kneeled down and examined the flowers. I can't figure it out, she sighed. They returned home and sat in the garden. Their shoulders felt heavy. Not even Safta's famous cupcakes made them feel any better. The flowers need urgent help, or they will not last much longer, said Safta. Ahem. They heard a faint cough. To their surprise, the pink tree full of ears was all perked up, trying to get their attention. I couldn't avoid hearing your conversation, said the tree shyly. I am sorry about the happy flowers, but I think I know how to help. You see, they're cloud flowers, far away in the land of clouds. There's a cyclops with a magical garden. I once heard him talking about caring for cloud flowers. Maybe he can help. Lionel stood up. We have no time to waste. We need to get there very fast. Well, I can help you get there quickly. They heard another sound, the sound of many footsteps. It was the running bush. It seemed to be smiling as it spoke. Safta has been so kind to us. It's the least we can do. The running bush gathered them all and zoomed far, far away until they, Safta, Beauty Mark, Lionel, and even the cupcakes were soon at the edge of the village. Now jump, said the bush. They jumped. To their surprise, they seemed to jump and jump and jump and float until they started going through a dense layer of clouds. It slowed them down until just like that, they hit the ground. Only it wasn't the ground. It was like a trampoline. Just like that, they were in the most unusual world. Everything was made of clouds. Trees were made of green and brown clouds, flowers with all kinds of tiny colorful clouds. Even the neon lights were sparkling clouds advertising cloudy restaurants. How are we ever going to find the Cyclops? Moaned Beauty Mark. Let's ask her, said Lionel, pointing to a girl crossing the street. 
Excuse me. They looked at the cloud girl with her silky hair made of strings of fog that covered her face like a veil and her dress of rainbow pieces sewn together with a lacy wisp. Do you happen to know where we can find Mr. Garden Cloud Cyclops? We need his help, Lionel exclaimed. Of course, she smiled. He usually comes around noon to have lunch at the pizza place just there. Thank you, said Safta. There it is, said Beauty Mark, pointing to a large sign, the Rainbow Pizza Place. They got in and waited and waited. Not wanting to be rude, they even ordered a pizza. It looked magnificent with thin crust, yellow cheese, tiny slices of black olives, and colorful vegetables. Lionel took a slice and sunk his teeth in. Hey, he grumped, it just tastes like fog. Here, said Beauty Mark, sliding her brother one of Safta's cupcakes. Much better, he said through a full mouth. Boom, boom, boom. They heard a thunderous footsteps approaching. The restaurant door swung open and there he was. A giant stood there looking at the menu. He was as tall and thick as a tree and in the middle of his forehead, he had one huge eye. He had cloudy mud on his giant knees and a spade hanging out his back pocket. The cloud cyclops after whispered, I smell something new and delicious, boomed the cyclops. He turned and saw the bag of cupcakes that Beauty Mark held. Here, said Beauty Mark, would you like one? A pink cloud appeared on his cheek like a blush. Thank you, he said, and two of the cupcakes disappeared in his mouth. Mmm, delicious. How can I thank you? We have a patch of blue flowers that look like clouds and smell like happiness in our village. They make everyone happy, but they are now very sick and we don't know what to do. Can you please help us, said Beauty Mark? Hmm, said the Cyclops. Everyone just come there, smells the flowers and leaves? Yes, replied Lionel, and now nobody looks happy. The Cyclops paused and said, For one to be happy, one needs peace with himself. Huh? wondered Beauty Mark. It means that you need to do the right things to feel good, said the Cyclops. When you receive happiness, you need to give it back. I think I know what he means, said Safta. I have a plan. Do you need help getting back to the village? asked the Cyclops. Yes, please, said Lionel. Then please turn around. They did. Thank you and good luck, said the Cyclops, and then gave them a huge kick in the butt. It didn't hurt. But Safta, Beauty Mark, and Lionel flew so fast with a loud thud, they landed back in the square by the gloomy flowers. Saba, their grandpa, was standing there. Where did you come from, he said, startled. And why are your butts wet? Oh, we were just kicked out of a cloud cyclops, replied Safta. Oh, okay, replied Saba, scratching his head. Let's start with the plan, said Safta. They all stood by the flowers and started talking to them. Thank you, flowers, for all the joy and happiness you're spreading. Thank you for being so kind to us. We love you and we're grateful to you. Then more people joined to say sweet things to the flowers. Uncle grabbed his guitar and started singing to them. From that day on, all the village people and visitors didn't miss a chance to express their gratitude and care for them. Day by day, the flowers looked better until they fully regained their strength, beauty, and scent. Once more, laughter and joy were in the square. Beauty Mark went and hugged Safta tightly. Safta, thank you for all that you are doing for us. I think I will go and ask Uncle to play the guitar for you too.